Hello guys. Magandang araw po sa inyong lahat guys. So ako nga pala si Jess B. Canlas. So nandito po ako ngayon para turuan kayo regarding po sa electrical wiring installation. So ang una po natin gagawin guys is mag install po muna tayo sa basic no. Sa basic po muna tayo. Don't worry. So habang tumatagal tayo, pupunta tayo doon sa medyo mas komplikado. We will start with the basic. Okay? So just like what I told you. So we start with the switch. So this switch ay po yung kanyang ginagamit natin sa bahay class, no? Guys, no? So this is a 3 gang 3 gang switch. Okay? So pag sinabi natin 3 gang switch, so 3 switches, okay, in 1 gang. So this is a 3 gang switch. This switch is considered a single pole single trough. Huwag niyo kalimutan yun guys ha. This is a single pole, single trough. Bakit po, na, bakit po natin tinawag na single pole, single trough? Kasi, only one line, okay, will go to this switch. So, that is a single pole. At bakit naman single trough? Kasi, on, it, on and off lang po siya. So, on, off, on, off. So, single trough. Kasi, on, isa lang. Single. I-off mo siya. On, single. So, that is Single pole, single toe switch. Okay? Then, that switch will control the bulb. Yun, gaya nga po ng sinabi ko na parang yung ginagawa po natin sa ating bahay. So, mayroon po tayong bulb. And, of course, the circuit breaker. So, this is the circuit breaker, guys, no? So, this circuit breaker is considered also a switch. No? So, this circuit breaker protects the circuit from overload or short circuit current. So, kasi ang mangyayari kasi dyan, guys, pag nagkaroon ka ng overload, ngayon, tumahas ng tumahas ng tumahas siya, ang ibig sa mag-trip lang siya. So, depende po yan kung ano ang size ng circuit breaker mo, no? Okay? So, this circuit breaker is considered as Double pole, kasi there are two lines connected. Okay, so this line one, line two. Okay, two lines are connected with the circuit breaker. And single toe, bakit? Kasi on and off lang siya. On, off, on, off. So this is double pole, single toe. Okay, so ito lang po yung kakaniwan na ginagamit po natin sa bahay, no? And also the convenience outlet. So, saksakan po na ginagamit po natin sa mga small appliances load. So, this is a convenience outlet. So, ngayon plus, ituturo ko po sa inyo. So, after this, ituturo ko sa inyo, we will do the actual. Okay? So that, uh, you will see how will I connect all of this, no? Okay, so we'll start now plus. Start now guys. So, one valve, no? So, one valve, no? So, there are two lines, no? And this is the second valve. Okay. So, ngayon, ang gagawin natin, class, is bibigyan ko kayo ng uh, electrical wiring diagram, no? So, ngayon, ang ibawa, class, gusto mo magkabit ng, ano, no? Gusto mo magkabit ng valve, okay? Gamit ang isang switch or the single pole, single to. So, syempre, meron tayong AC source, no? So, this is the AC source. That is the symbol for the AC source, no? So, we need to say, this is the line 1. And this is the line 2. No? Itong line 1, line 2, guys. Ah, usually sa Manila to, eh. Sa mga Miralo ko. Yan, line 1, line 2 yan. Meron din tayong tinatawag na line 2 ground. Sa mga provincia naman yan. Sa Simpel ko. No, ayun yan. Line 2 ground naman yan. So, ngayon. So, We will have a, I'm sorry, we will have a switch, okay, a switch, okay, connected in series with the bulb. Okay, so yung pinakita ko sa inyo na bulb, yun. So ang gagawin natin guys, pahilawin natin itong bulb na ito gamit yung switch. So ganyan lang po yung wiring diagram niya, no. So ngayon, halimbawa, gusto mo siyang dagdagan. Diba, gusto mo siyang, gusto mo dagdagan pa ng isang bud. 
Okay lang yan. Nagdagan mo ng isang bud. But take note plus ha. That these connections, okay. This bud, okay. Is connected in parallel with this bud. So meaning to say, if you switch this on, the two bulbs will light. Okay. Magsasabay ang dalawang yan. So that is connected in parallel with this first bud. O, di ba? Gusto mo nagdagan ng pangatlong bud. Okay lang din yan. Yan. So, meaning to say, if you switch this on, three bulbs will light. Okay, malinaw po tayo dyan, no? Eh, paano naman, guys? Halimbawa, uh, ayaw ko siyang gamitan ng isang switch. Gusto ko, uh, individual bulbs, okay, will be controlled by the individual switch. So, ano pang gagawin natin? Gagawin lang po natin yung class, okay? So, yan. So, putulin mo to, Putulin mo yan. Putulin mo yan. Lagyan mo lang ng switch. Ganyan lang po kasimple yan, guys. No? Ganyan lang po kasimple. Ayan. So, switch mo yan. Switch mo yan. Switch mo yan. So, itong mga ilaw na to, magda-light. Okay? So, maliwanag po, no? Take note, class. Halimbawa, gumamit ka ng trigang switch. Para hindi po kayo malito, no? So, the, the other line for the valve, okay, other line for the valve, other line for the valve, i-connect mo lahat yan. Alright? And then, the other line for the switch, other line for the switch, other line for the switch, i-connect mo lahat din yan. Para hindi ka malito, no? So, mamaya yung gagawin po natin yan in actual, no? So, this is uh, only a lecture and and take note class, this is only a basic, no? So, tutuwaan po po muna kayo ng basic, then, habang tumatagal, pupunta po tayo sa mas komplikado. <coughs> Okay, so ngayon, let's go to the receptacle outlet. O yung tinatawag natin convenience outlet, yung saksakan, na pinagsasaksakan ng mga small appliance load, di ba? So, madali lang po yan, guys, no? So, ganito lang po yan. So, let's say this is the receptacle outlet, no? Yan, so this is the two lines, no? Yan, connect mo lang yan, no? Across with the supply. Tapos, huwag itong magdagdag, o, i-connect na din parallel with the first outlet kung gusto mo magdagdag okay lang din i-connect mo lang sya yung parallel with the outlet so that is the parallel connection no? ng receptacle outlet so pag sinabi natin uh, receptacle outlets are connected in parallel so meaning to say the voltage drop or the voltage across these lines or across this uh, receptacle outlet is the same as the second uh, outlet same with the third outlet so that is the so that is what we call the parallel connection so meaning to say same voltage but we cannot say that they are same current we can we we, uh, we cannot also say that same resistance so ipapaliwanan ko po sa inyo yan sa susunod na video ko okay so maliwanan po guys okay let's now go to the actual so Single pole, single toe switch. Okay, will control the uh, valve. Will control the valves. Valve one, valve two. Okay, so una una tayong gawin is single switch. Uh, controlling the first valve. Okay, so so the first conductor or the first wire here. Okay, we'll go to the line. Okay. We'll go to the first line of the AC source. Just like why I've showed you a while ago. Then, the other one, okay, we'll go to bulb. No? So, this is the first bulb. So, guys, so, first bulb. Kita nyo po ba? Okay. Ayan. Then, the other end, for this valve, will go to uh, second line of the AC source. Ayan. Ayan, tapos guys. So, meaning to say, kapag sinuits ko to, if I will turn this on, so the light, uh, the valve will light, no? Okay, so ito yun, 
Ano na natin yung breaker natin? So this is the circuit breaker guys, no? Switch on na natin. Ayan. So take note ha. This is a double pole single to. Lagi naging double pole single to because two lights are connected with the breaker. And single to kasi on and off lang po siya. Okay, so huwag nyo po muna isipin to guys, no? Huwag na natin lang yan ng electrical tip to tan. Ano lang naman siya. So, ang um, isipin nyo po muna dito is, uh, I want you to, I want you to know about the basic electrical wire installation. So, dun, dun lang po muna tayo, no? So, okay. So, isusuit na po natin, guys. Yan, guys, no? Nakita nyo po. So, off, on, off, on. Yan. Ganyan lang po yan. So, ngayon, guys, gusto mong halimbawa, Uh, gusto mo magkagawa ng another valve, no? Which is connected in parallel with this valve. Madali lang yan, guys, no? So, turn off muna natin ito. So, let's say, this is the second valve, no? Okay? So, controlling, this valve will be controlled by the... Just like what I showed you, no? In the electrical wiring diagram, no? So, this is the second valve, no? Connect lang natin siya in parallel. Connect mo lang siya in parallel. Ayan. Ayan. Then, the other end, we'll go to the other end of the first bud. Ayan po. Ayan. So, ayan po mga guys, so. Ayan. So, meaning to say guys, so, if I will, if I will turn this on, okay, so, the two bulbs will light at the same time, no? So, yun yun. So, meaning to say, is switch controlling two bulbs. One switch controlling two bulbs. Okay? So, ito na natin itong breaker natin. Okay? So, switch na natin, no? Guys, no? Ayan. Nakikita nyo mga kaibigan, nagsabay po siya. Bakit po siya nagsabay? Kasi the two bulbs are connected in parallel. Okay? Which is, uh, which are controlled by the single switch. Ayan. Ayan. Ngayon guys, ano ba? Gusto mo siyang gawing tatlo. Gusto mo siyang gawing apat. Gusto mo siyang gawing lima. Walang problema. I-connect mo lang siya in parallel, no? With the load. Pero take note guys, no? Isang switch lang yan, no? Okay? So ngayon guys, gusto mong ngayon guys, ang gawin natin guys is gusto kong kontrolin ang individual bud gamit ang individual switch. So madali lang. So gaya nga po ulit ng pinakita ko sa inyo kanina, doon sa electrical wiring diagram natin. So, sundin lang po natin yun, no? So, tanggalin po muna natin lahat to. Ayan. Ayan. Okay. So, gagamitin natin yung dalawang switch, no? Controlling the first and the second valve. Okay. Kung nakikita nyo, guys, no? Ito. So, gamitin lang muna natin dito guys is di yung dalawang switch natin. Huwag muna natin gamitin dito kasi dalawa lang yung bulb natin. So, ito lang ang gamitin natin. No? Ayan. So, kapag gumamit ka ng dalawang switch or let's say sabi natin na tugang, okay, tatlong linya lang. No? Tatlong conductor lang. So, ayan. Makikita nyo po ba? So, itong nakabipass na ito, ito yung supply line natin. No? Dito natin i-coconnect yung one line coming from the AC source. Okay, and this line will go to the valve, to the valve one, and this one, the second line will go to the second valve. Okay, okay. So let's do the actual. Okay, so okay. So this is the AC source, no? AC source that comes from the circuit breaker. So, kuha tayo ng isang linya. Okay, so this is the first line. Okay, saan pupunta? Pupunta ito sa switch. Okay? Okay. Okay, no? Then, the other line, okay, of the first switch, will go to bud. Diba, ito, yung bud natin. No? Ito, pupunta po siya dito, no? Ito. Ayan. And 
the other line will go to the supply okay ito na po yan guys ito to the second line of the AC source ayan po okay then the second one so i-connect mo na siya ayan and the other line that comes from the valve Okay, so the other line that comes from the valve, the second valve, will go to switch 2. Okay? So, ayan. Ganyan lang po yan, guys. Ayan. So, check natin. Uh, so, okay lang naman po, no? So, uh, ipaalala ko po sa inyo, guys, na huwag niyo po munang isipin kung ano po yung materyales na ginamit natin yung size ng conductor, yung size ng breaker ang gagawin lang po muna natin sa ngayon okay is yung basic na electrical wearing installation so doon po muna tayo magpo-focus so doon po muna sa mga size of breaker, size of the conductor saka ko na po i-discuss yan to my next video okay no? so i-switch on na natin dito so yan so yun, hindi hindi siya ng electrical tape Huwag niyo po muna pansinin yan kasi total. Uh, basta maging maingat lang po tayo, no? So, I will turn this, this on. Okay? Okay, so, first switch, controlling the first one. Okay? Off. On. Second switch, controlling the second valve. Okay? Off. On. Okay? So, you have to So, ganyan lang guys. So, ano ba? Gusto mong gumamit ng uh, third switch? Ganun lang. Ganun lang yung proseso. Hanggang sa ano. Kasi usually naman ang ginagamit natin sa bahay. Mga 3 gang switch lang yan eh. So, wala naman na sige kung mga 4 gang switch. Mga ganyan. So, maximum lang po yung 3 gang switch. So, yun lang po guys. So, see you again. So, bago po yan, huwag nyo pong kalimutang mag-subscribe. Para po, magkasama-sama po tayo ng matalan. So, thank you and goodbye.